Let's get right to the latest on these fires. The river fire is burning 48,424 acres south of Salinas, extending down below King City. Eight homes have been destroyed, eight more damaged. 356 structures are considered threatened still tonight. Now to the smaller but more destructive Carmel fire. The size remains at 6,695 acres, but 35 homes have been destroyed. 462 structures are threatened right now. But in the areas largely spared by the flames, people said they had a new appreciation for their communities. Some exchanging numbers with neighbors for the very first time today. Here's KIO and anchor Veronica Macias. You remember this just a week ago, law officers frantically going door to door to check for stragglers as they evacuated Las Palmas neighborhood. People left their homes hoping they would be here when they returned tonight. We feel at peace. Natalie Adams said some prayers and headed out with her husband. She is one of nearly 28,000 from the Las Palmas community off River Road who is feeling grateful to have it all back. Blessed, very tired. In the next community over in Indian Springs Ranch, people are just as thankful to see their homes untouched by the flames that had threatened to burn them down. You don't know what you... Uh what you cherish until, you know, it's kind of almost taken away from you. We were just overwhelmed by how uh, wonderful it is to be back in our home and to see it's still standing. As the river fire burned along the canyons, Corral de Tierra neighbors bonded together during urgency hours. There's a horse ranch up the road that had to evacuate a bunch of horses. Everybody got involved with that and just pretty much everybody helping everybody. And tonight, those that never met after years in these homes are no longer strangers. We've all met, exchanged cell phone numbers. Just as fast as they left, people returned back to their homes, unpacking their belongings, hugging their pets, and thanking all the firefighters who saved their communities. The firemen did a heck of a job. I just want to put a, uh, a, a solid thank you out to Cal Fire. Overwhelming. We're so... We're so grateful to CAL FIRE and every emergency services that has been on duty for 24-7. Things could have been a lot worse. CAL FIRE says thankfully the weather allowed them to gain control. Good news today, uh, Mother, Mother Nature did us, uh, did us a solid this time. This is uh, the evening we were looking forward to. All right, that was Veronica Macias reporting.